Hey everyone and welcome to another tutorial for FPS Engine in which I want to cover a topic that I've been asked a lot and it's touch inputs and controls for mobile devices. Now FPS Engine offers keyboard and mouse and also controller support but it does not bring touch input out of the box so I will show you how to do it today because it's actually very simple to do and quite straightforward. Now FPS Engine uses the new input system so we can go to the window and then package manager and ensure you are on unity registry and then search for the input system package okay here inside samples you can see that there are a lot of different options that you can include but the item that we are interested in is the on-screen controls so click on import that and once you have it you can close this already and we're going to create a new UI or a new canvas for our touch input buttons, okay? So right click in the hierarchy and create a new canvas, which I'll call touch input, whoops, controls. There we go. And I'll add a sort order of 100 or something like that. So it stays on top of the rest of the user interface, okay? Now I'll create a new image and I'll call this jump button. So we'll use this button in order to jump. And let's set the anchors somewhere around here. There we go. Great. Now we just need a way to tell Unity that whenever we click on this image, we want the player to jump. And luckily for us, the add-on that we just included handles this very easily and efficiently, okay? So make sure you are on your jump button and let's add a new component called on screen button. This new component is asking the control path of our action. Now, how do we actually know which is the right control path? You can go to the constant folder and inside inputs folder, you'll find the player actions file, which you can open. And here you can see all the different actions that you can perform in FPS Engine listed, okay? We have jumping, dashing, reloading, and a list of a lot of actions, okay? Now, the, the, the action that we are interested in is jumping. So let's open that, and you can see that we have a binding for keyboard and another one for gamepad. Now, for keyboard, we use the spacebar, and for the gamepads, we use the uh, south button, okay? So let's remember this spacebar. We can just close this and go back to our jump button. And on the control path, we can search space. There we go. Let's save that and click on play. Now, whenever we click on this image, we'll jump successfully, which is great. Cool. Now we need a way to use a virtual joystick on the screen in order to look around and move. So. I'll make one for moving, for instance, okay? So let's duplicate this jump button and I'll call this movement, oops, button. Set the anchor here and adjust the X position. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put this in red so we can differentiate, you know, between the jump and the movement buttons. Well, it's actually not the button. I'm gonna call this joystick instead. And because it's not a button, we do not need the on-screen button. So let's delete that and add a new component called on-screen stick that also provides the, the item that we just added, okay? So we'll click on that and notice how it's also asking for a control path. Now, for instance, whenever we use a controller, we'll move the player using the left stick so in this case, we will also be using the left, the left stick from the gamepad. And now click on play again. And as you can see, we are moving. There we go. It works fantastically. Now it's a bit weird because we are testing on a computer and whenever I use the mouse, you know, I'll also aim. But uh, you can test this on a mobile device and you'll see that it works fantastically. Now, having this set up already, you can, of course, duplicate this button and use it to, 
you know, aim a weapon or shoot a weapon or different actions. Or you can, of course, make a new joystick in order to rotate the camera. And, you know, you can basically cover any of these actions listed here in your game using the, the method that I just showed. So, yeah, you can pretty much add any action that you want into your game and make mobile games using FPS Engine super easily and faster than ever. So I hope this was helpful and of course if you've got any trouble make sure to, to let me know and of course if you need support you can join us on our Discord server where I'll be happy to help. Anyway, see you next time.